Done. Nice. Alright, so we're going to be working um, from the same position. In this hypothetical, we would have um, broken down the posture of our, of our partner. I'm going to go head and arm control. One thing I didn't talk about um, with this single collar, just like if you were on the feet striking or grappling, when we get this single collar, we don't want this elbow flared. We want our elbow and forearm to be a barrier against them, right? So we're not here, we're in here. We're pulling down, we're pushing. All right, so if I successfully get my head and arm control, that's good. Getting an angle is even better. I'm going to angle out to the side where we have um, our overhook. So last time, we were working reactively or proactively, either way, to get our bottom leg around and over for our triangle. We're going to be working the exact same position, but this time, it's going to be our top clamping leg that's going to do some of the tricky work. I'm going to come over the near side of the face. I have this overhook at this point, when the foot goes over the partner's face, I can switch my grip. Grab it with my other hand, I'm gonna post while I'm pivot off of my top side foot to get parallel to my partner. Being really careful to keep not just the arm in between my thighs, but not losing their elbow line. So I'm pinching here. I sit up, butt behind me, and then on the side near us. At this point, we're already putting pressure on our partner, right? I'm going to reach my, my chest a little over the back, reach in front, and before I even kick, the leg back goes in. One more time. So in, this, in these drills, we're not going to resist. We're going to act as though we successfully fought for this breakdown. Angle out, be patient. To angle out, good. We're working here, making them worry about the bottom leg. We're going to actually push away, come over here. I'm on my side right now. So it doesn't take much hip flexibility for me to do this. If I was flat on my back, trying to get that old plata, it would take some hip flexibility for working like rubber guard stuff. That's, that's good stuff. Right now, we're relying on our angle, not our hip flexibility. So I say that to say this, if you're having trouble getting your foot here, it's probably because you're not on your side enough. Because right now I'm not, I'm not doing anything with my hip really. Switch the grip, pulse off the top foot to get parallel, grab the back to prevent an easy rolling skate. Sit up like a butterfly guard, butt behind our back. I like to scoop my hip to my butt that's nearest them because it puts clamping pressure. We're going to sit up, kick back, reach forward, over the back. We have a little butt in there. All right. Um, it's good there. 